Our next speaker is Alan West. He is running for the 22nd Congressional District. So let's go. Hey, look, uh, I'm not standing under this thing because uh, being an old parent trooper, I don't mind if I get rained on. But uh, I, I got to tell you, just uh, it's a beautiful day. God bless you all for being out here. And this is what America is all about. This is what our country is all about. And just so you know, I mean, we do have the police officers back here. So if they come charging me and they tackle me, it's because Secretary of the Homeland Defense, uh, Security, Janet Napolitano, said, you know, I am a right wing. And I hope that all of you out here today that are talking against illegal immigration are proud to be right-wing extremists. <laughs> and for those of you out here that served in the military and got that infamous training that could be used as, uh, as a terrorist against our own country, I stand proud with you after my 22 years in the military. I want to say Semper Fi, four all the way. Go Navy, go Air Force, go Coast Guard. We are the ones that have protected and defended this Constitution in the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And we continue to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And when we stand and we have people that are part of this administration that call us the enemy, and they are afraid to confront the true enemy of this country, the true enemies of this state. I say that there is something wrong with this administration, that there's something wrong with the people up there, there's something wrong with this president who is down there in, uh, in the Caribbean hugging and kissing face with Hugo Chavez. It is time for Americans to take a stand and start to take our country back right now. So some of you may have seen the uh, YouTube video where the person that is second in line to be President of the United States, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, stood and castigated our ICE agents as being un-American for doing their jobs, which is to protect us. She needs to go as well. This is where we stand in our country right now. Our Constitution has five basic mandates, and three of them relate to this issue. But when you think about the issue of illegal immigration, it's very much the same as the Korean War. And people refer to the Korean War as the Forgotten War. Illegal immigration to a lot of our politicians is the forgotten issue. How many times did you hear presidential candidates, Senator Obama or Senator McCain, talk about illegal immigration whatsoever? But how many times did they go out of their way to go find groups like La Raza and other these seditious, treasonous Hispanic groups and start talking about how they supported them and how they would do things to make sure that we had a proper, you might as well say, an amnesty program. We can no longer trust the people that we have sent to Washington, D.C. because they are continuing to let us down. And when you think about this one issue of legal immigration, it's very much so like an octopus with many different tentacles to reach into our basic fabric of the United States of America. We're out here talking about how it affects our job situation. Here in the state of Florida, we've got an unemployment rate of 9.4%. Why do we have that? Why are we allowing people to come across into our country and take jobs away from good Americans that want to get out there and work very hard? We've got to change that around. We cannot allow them to come here and depress our wages so that Americans cannot get proper wages. It is an effect upon our economy. You just heard Mr. Parsons talk about how your taxpayer dollars are paying for people who are here breaking our law. And the last time I checked it out, the United States is a republic. And that means we respect laws here in this country. And the number one law should be protecting American citizens and holding this thing called citizenship very dear and near to our hearts. One of the things that caused the Roman Empire to collapse was the fact that they devalued being a citizen of the Republic of Rome. They just handed it out to anybody. And then on top of that, they stopped paying attention to their border to the north. And the next thing you know, they were conquered from within. 
We cannot allow that to happen here in the United States of America. And we've got to send a very clear message to the people in Washington, D.C., that we don't care that you want to change the voting electorate so that you can stay in charge. We don't care if you want to kowtow up to the corporations and the businessmen so that you can have cheap labor. This is about putting Americans first, not any special interest, not the Mexican special interest, but what is proper by the Constitution for the United States of America and its citizens. Okay.